Hi guys, it's really good to see you again this week. If you're new here, my name is Nikki Pasquier. I'm a Canva Certified Creative and I teach you how to use Canva to help you create beautiful visual content to market your brands online. Now, imagine you're working on a Canva template that has many, many pages. So you might be working on an ebook or probably a presentation. You finish the first draft, you send it off to your boss, only she comes back to you a few minutes later to say that she's made an error with the fonts, which means that you now need to change the font style for the headings, the subheadings, and the body text throughout the document. And now imagine how relieved you would be if someone came up to you and said, did you know there's this little tool in Canva called the copy style button that will help you change all the fonts on each of your pages in just one click? Well, I'm happy to say that Canva has such a tool. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to use the copy style button, which will increase your productivity, save you a ton of frustration, and ensure that your visual style is consistent throughout your design. So if you're ready, let's make a start. There are four things that you can do with the copy style button. You can copy text styles, you can copy color, you can copy image filters, and you can even copy chart styles. Right, so here I am on my Canva desktop and I'm working on this long presentation. I sent it over to my boss who's come back to me with a message. Please change all the font styles, sorry. I'm just about to tear my hair out when I remember that I have the copy style button to help me. So I'm gonna use it now to change all the fonts over in just a few clicks. Just a side note here, when using the copy style button to change fonts, it's always best to change like with like. And here is what I mean. On this page, I've got some text here which has been grouped together with a header, a subheader, and some body text. If I scroll down my template, I can see I have lots of other pages with exactly the same style of text layout. So heading, subheading, and body text. And again, on this page, on this page, this page, and so on. So what I need to do first is make the necessary changes to the first page of my template. So I've changed the header style, the subheading style, and the body text. Next, what I need to do is hold my cursor down and run it over the text that I want to copy. Just like that. And you'll see that I've selected the text because it has a blue outline around it. Next, I'm gonna head over to the top right-hand corner of my toolbar and select the copy text button. I'm gonna click on it once and you'll see that it's all loaded up with style because it's changed black. I'm going to scroll down to the page that I want to change and I'm gonna do exactly the same as before. I'm gonna hold my cursor down and I'm gonna drag it over the text I want to change. So I'm gonna paint all of that lovely text style over this block of text here. Once I let go of the cursor, all of the text style has been changed. And it's as simple as that. Let me run through that one more time. So this is the new text style that my boss wants me to implement. I'm gonna hold my cursor down and run it over all the text to select it. I can see that there's a blue outline around all of the text. I'm gonna go over to the copy style button and click on it once. You can see that it's turned black, which means I've loaded it up with style. I'm gonna scroll down to the next page that needs changing hold my cursor down and run it over the text that needs changing. Let go of the cursor and the text has been changed in just one click. 
You will have to load your roller brush up each time you want to change some text, but that's not a problem. You just repeat the process over and over until you have everything changed. Now I mentioned at the start of the tutorial that you can use the copy style button to copy styles of photos. And I've just submitted my amended template to my boss and rather annoyingly she's changed her mind again and she wants me to change the style of the photographs. So I've made the amendments to one photograph. Now all I need to do is exactly the same as I did with the text. Select my photograph. You'll see it's surrounded by a blue edge so I know I've selected it. I'm going to head over to the copy style button again. Click on it once, it's turned black so all the style is loaded up onto my roller brush. I'm going to find my next photograph to change and I'm simply going to click on the photograph to apply the style. And it is really that easy. Again, for each time you want to apply a new style, you need to load up that roller brush again. So I've selected the photograph, there's a blue edge around it. I'm going to click on the copy style button. It's loaded up and turned black. And I'm going to click on the next photograph to apply the styles. Bingo! Now one final trick I want to show you, which is absolutely amazing, is that you can actually merge the styles of two completely separate templates. So imagine, for instance, your boss now wants you to add a slide that she's seen in this presentation template. She wants you to add one of the slides to your current presentation, which I've already done here. It's incredibly easy to do. You just click on this little add page icon here, click on it once, and then select the slide you want to add. And it really is that simple. All I need to do now is match the style on this page with the rest of my template. And if you remember what I said about the copy style feature, it really does copy everything. So in this case, my text is aligned to the left and it's done exactly the same with the new text. It's aligned everything to the left. So if you still want to maintain the central justification, just ungroup the block of text, run your cursor over the text, and click on the central alignment button. To change the background of the new slide, all you need to do is select the background of your original page, click on copy style, and there we are. Of course, it's not gonna change the little icons, you'll have to do that manually. And that is all there is to merging templates and styles. So that is it. That's all there is to the copy style button. Why not check out all my other Canva tutorials? I have an entire playlist full of them. So I'll leave the link right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel and turn on that little notification bell so that you're the first to know when I upload my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.